Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today's painting tutorial will be on Gina from Gilman Productions. Sculpted by Jeff Yeager and she's currently available through Paul Gill. I'll have his information in the description of this video. So this is the kit. Just a beautiful kit as you can see. I don't have her pinned on there so you can see the the base that Jeff sculpted and of course Gina as you can see her in all her startling glory from the Brides of Dracula. She's just a beautiful kit. This one uh, unfortunately I'll move it up a little closer here is not mine and it's going to be going off to my clients in the next couple of days uh, that requested this. He wanted a pale look like it was in the film and that's what I've done here and today we're going to talk a little bit about what I did to bring Gina to life. Are you ready? Well let's go. I began by priming with gray automotive primer. I decided to start with the figure this time. Normally I start with the base simply so I could let her sit on the base while I painted her. So I base coated the flesh using freestyle virgin flesh. I put a nice coat on the uh, skin just to give it that uh, that very pale look. So I pulled out uh, some pastels and began shading the eye area and lips. And I painted in the front hair areas with Delta Cream Coat Black so I could check my progress on the flesh tones. I then came in with Garage US Trans Mars Red and hit the mouth and eye area just to start building up a little bit of a distressed look but not too much. Uh, my client did not want a very distressed look to the face or the eye area. So then I came in with some Garage US Bright Flesh and I hit all the highlighted areas of the face and the chest area. So then it was time to start some shading. So I shaded the skin with Garage US Trans Mars Red just to kind of give it a reddish look like maybe she just had a meal. And then I highlighted once again all the raised areas and the breast area with Freestyle US Virgin Flesh. So now I had a nice uh, flesh tone going. So I decided to move up to the eyes and the teeth. So I uh, base coated those with Freak Flex Banshees Gray. And of course at that point I decided to finish off the hair. And I pulled out my Freak Flex Body Bake Black and also the eyes at this point and I decided to base coat them the gown with Freak Flex Turn Ghost White. So that way I had the gown going and also uh, the eyes, the teeth and the hair was finished off. That way I had a really nice uh, contrast going so I could decide if I was going in the right direction to be honest. So then I came out uh, and I decided to use some Delta Cream Coat dark brown and I dry brush the hair with that. I wanted a little bit of a highlight in the hair and you know just to give it a different look if you will. Now for her eye color I mixed up some Freak Flex Mummified Brown and Freak Flex Turn Ghost White and I painted in the uh, iris area with that color to give it a nice uh, just like a lightish brown tint to it if you will. And once again, I wanted to see some more balance going on, so I decided to shade the gown. So I brought out some Garage US Trans Paints Gray, and I began uh, shading in that uh, white area. The Paints Gray is a beautiful contrast when you're shading white. So I came back in, and I decided I'd hit off, uh, finish up the eyes. So I added in the pupil using some Freak Flake Flex Body Bag Black. So I came back in with some brown for the hair and did some more dry brushing and uh, you know kind of quieted it down with some transparent black just to kind of tie it all in but still see my see the highlights of the uh, brown but still have a black look to the hair if that makes sense. And then it was simply time at this point to uh, gloss coat 
the eyes so I decided to use uh, my favorite my Tamiya clear and I put a couple light coats in her eyes in the gum and teeth area and believe it or not the figure was done now on to the base we're at the uh, goal line guys and we're trying to make it over there with uh, first and four so let's go I base coated the base with Freak Flex Body Bait Black I then came in and uh, base coated the ground area with some Freak Flex Rotten Tooth Tan I had all the skulls on the base using Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan and then of course uh, onto the wall area and I used some Freak Flex Gravestone Gray uh, and just simply sprayed that over the black you leave a little bit of hint of the black but the gray obviously is the uh, highlight color and then for the uh, column that's on the base I brought out some Freak Flex Old Wreck Rust and I simply hit the column with that now it's time to begin some shading of all of this stuff so I came in with Garage US Transparent Dark Brown and I hit the ground area with that and then of course brought in some of the uh, Wada Transparent Black to quiet the ground area down a bit then I continue to muddy up the ground area and I brought out uh, some Garage US Transparent Raw Umber and I kind of hit that areas of the walls and the ground to further add me some you know shadows to it and give it a nice uh, dirty look so now it was time to finish off the base I dry brushed the walls with Freak Flex Grave Parlor Gray and I would you know go back and forth you hit the areas with it and then use a little bit of the transparent black and then you come back in and uh, dust once again with that Grave Parlor Gray for the skulls I dry brush those with bleach bone tan and just uh, re-highlight a little bit of it leaving some of the dirtiness that I accomplished with the uh, transparents. Now Dead Guy Gray was used on the rocks and I just simply dry brush some of that on there and then for the uh, ground area I brought out some Freak Flex Cursed Earth and I simply dry brush the ground areas and that's a process you just go back and forth with the colors come back in with your transparent uh, colors to tone it down if you decide to and then of course for me it was simply uh, coming back in with some of the transparent black just to kind of hit the area a little bit more and believe it or not the ba the kit is done base is done the kit is done and that's what I did to bring this beautiful kit to life. And if you haven't gotten one of these, this was the uh, second uh, kit in the hammer line that Jeff did. The first one being Christopher Lee. And uh, like I said, this one is going to be on its way to my client. But, of course, I got another one. So I can do one for my collection. And you'll have seen in the previous uh, video that I did of Christopher Lee so I thought it would be only uh, pairing to put up the second release from Paul Gill which was Gina so that's today's episode of talking models now if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do just hit that subscribe button and boom you're in with the family you guys have been so faithful to this channel uh, you new subscribers thank you so much for jumping on board and just uh helping to get the word out on this channel so i greatly appreciate it guys and gals you've been quite a blessing to me so that's it look for the next edition of talking models that'll be coming soon and remember i hope that you guys all have a wonderful day today and as always May the Lord bless your day.